got closer to God this year. I know even saying that now as a gay man, people can be like, how is that even possible? And it's like, I don't think unless you understand, I used to wake up in the morning and pray for him to take the gay away. I used to pray for him to change me. And I can now wake up and pray to God and I can actually have faith and I can go into church and be present. It saddens me that he feels that embracing sin and embracing our temptations is a form of liberation when the Bible actually says that it is a form of enslavement. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Being a slave to our flesh and our sinful sexual desires, that is part of the old self. But now we are new creations because of being made alive in Christ by grace through faith, as Ephesians 2 says, that we can reject our former way of life. Does that mean that we'll never sin again? No, of course it doesn't mean those things, but it means that we are not walking in the way of our flesh. But the grace and the love of Christ motivates us to walk in a way that is holy.